Welcome back to another Tech Up video. My name is Josh, and today we're going to be talking about my top five wish list for WWDC in home gear. Now, WWDC is just around the corner, starting on June 6th, and it's going to be a virtual event this year, again, for the third time in a row for WWDC. And I'm super excited to see what they're going to announce, and all the new features that are going to come along with iOS 16, iPadOS 16, Watch, and TV. And we might even see a debut in HomeOS as well, which ties together Apple TV and HomeKit as one big ecosystem. That in the future then paves the way for HomeKit itself, with Matter coming along not too shortly after, we hope, fingers crossed. So we'll be able to dive deep later on this year into all of the new features. But again, these are my top five wish list of why Hope is to be announced on the 6th of June during the event. If you're new here on this channel, we talk about HomeKit, smart home tech, and the future of tech itself and if that's something you are interested in or looking to follow along with then please feel free to hit that thumbs up subscribe and share this video if you do enjoy it as it really does help our channel grow and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss another video from us again let's get to it Going in straight with number one, and this is one that I think a lot of us definitely in the HomeKit world have been asking for for a while, and that is brand new icons for existing products. So as you all know, if you go into the Home app, so you have a light bulb or you have a device which you've added, which can be multiple purpose, you try and change the icon and it will literally only give you a couple you can select from. It would be absolutely great if Apple could add this really tiny but really needed feature into HomeKit, as it's been many years since they've added any kind of new icons into the home app and we just desperately need it at this point it'll be really nice it just means people will be able to understand the home app a lot easier and if you've got families or guests using them i'm rating this at number five on my list as i don't think it is entirely that important but it is a good feature that we've been asking for for a long time number four on my list is one that we already have but i would love to see a massive improvement on that over what is already there and that is intercom apple introduced intercom with the homepod mini and it was a great feature to allow you to announce different messages across the home and to your Apple devices within your home. Now this is great and everything but I absolutely love the drop-in feature on Amazon Echo and it would be great if you could have a two-way talk without needing to keep sending messages back and forth. Apple could easily implement this into the home app and can allow you to have a two-way conversation using intercom just by simply having a talk live feature. They have it with the HomeKit secure video cameras so it'd be absolutely nice if you could have it straightforward on the HomePod. Elaborating from this it would be also really good if you could also also use intercom as FaceTime audio instead of having to have an iPhone you could actually ring through to another family member if they have a HomePod or an Apple device it would be really good to have FaceTime audio I know you can pair it via an iPhone right now but it would be absolutely great if you could actually do HomePod to HomePod FaceTime calls using a selected account I feel like intercom was such a tick box feature for Apple when it first got announced and now nothing has really come by it and I don't actually know that many people that use it it would be nice for intercom to have an upgrade so I'd be able to use it a lot more and it will give me and the family members a lot more use cases. Number three on my list is one that I've been wanting for a very long time and I was really took back by the fact that it wasn't and this is better integration with Siri shortcuts and Apple HomeKit. Now some of you will might be out there saying what do you mean by that and it is a simple case of being able to run automations directly off the HomePod or Apple TV. I absolutely love shortcuts and I do use it quite a lot but I never actually tend to use them on the HomePod itself just because there's multiple of us in the home. Sometimes it doesn't recognize us, sometimes it doesn't run, sometimes it asks to authenticate it on the phone. Sorry I am unable to do that. You need to unlock your iPhone first. It doesn't look like you have location services turned on. Turn them on in the home app. So we just mostly stay away from shortcuts using the home pods, but we do use it on our phones and it is really helpful in that way. So by no means do I hate shortcuts. I just wish you could be able to automate stuff via the HomePod itself. This would also be really nice for those products which aren't HomeKit certified, but do allow you to use Siri shortcuts. So it would kind of feel like you are using HomeKit, but without having the control from the Home app. Something I feel like should have been integrated again when Siri shortcuts was announced, but it is a feature that I'm really hoping will come this year at WWDC. The second one on my wish list is going to be one that a lot of people have been asking for, and still to this day I see all over the web, people trying to find a way to implement it but one thing that would be really nice for Apple to acknowledge is a little bit more product category 
libraries in HomeKit. It would be great for Apple to acknowledge and implement a lot more different accessories for your home. There are so many smart appliances now, definitely for your home that I can think of, such as smart kettles, smart hoovers, that Apple could add and add support for within HomeKit. I see loads of people on Reddit and Twitter that would absolutely die to have a HomeKit vacuum supported in the Home app. That'd be absolutely great. Again, that goes back to the Siri shortcuts. Most robot hoovers do use Siri shortcuts, but again, it is tied to your device and sometimes you might fall with issues in that if you're running the automation from a HomePod. So those two tie in together, but it would be absolutely nice if Apple does that this year and I hope we get to see that. And finally, the last one on my list, number one is is one of the biggest features that I think a lot of us at this point really want. Again, as smart homes are expanding and we have more than one family member, it'd be great if Apple could finally add a family account, meaning you can set up who can control what, at what time, when and where. They do so well with their focus modes and their automation from Siri shortcuts. It'd be great if you could have, say, so your child can only use the lights in their room and they can control everything using their HomePod and have a dedicated account for them. And then for the adults, they'll be able to control the entire home and even possibly have the option, and I know this sounds really wild, but to have like an NFC card or something which you can send to a friend so they have a small version of your home run off their home. Without having to sign into the Home app, without having to send you a request, you can just send a simple text message. This would be super nice as it is gonna be a semi-permanent thing. Similar to what Find My does, with allowing to share your location for a certain amount of hours. It'd be great if you could share your home with your friends that come over for a select amount of hours and then when they leave you don't have to worry about deleting them or telling them to exit it. I think it would be great information to have a bunch of different family modes definitely for the home app and if you've got children or friends or family in a busy household I think this is definitely one to stop those button switches from turning off all of your lights and wrecking it. I'm super excited to see what is going to come of WWDC. We've already got rumors going about of Max, the VR headset, which might make a turn up. It might not, we don't know. We've also got all the updates from all of the software and we might have, like I said, the introduction of Home OS finally. So we'll be able to see Apple's roadmap for the next couple of years. And fingers crossed that hopefully includes a HomePod with a screen. Because as of now, I'm absolutely screaming to the world because I just feel like I need a HomePod with a screen in my home. Apple, please. But anyway, let me know what you guys want from WWDC for HomeKit and even for iOS 16 down below in the comments. I'll be checking them out and reading them. I'm super excited to see what comes from this year and I bet you guys are as well. So follow me on this journey. If you did like this video, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up and share this video. As you know, it really does help our channel grow. And don't forget to hit the bell icon if you never want to miss another video from Tech Up Again. I'm going to leave two really good videos right here for you to go check them out. This one definitely is worth a watch as it is a brand new product from Twinkly and I hope you like it. We'll see you in the next one.